Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today, Russia berates Trump's Twitter, relations can't depend on the mood someone wakes up in. Russia has taken a veiled swipe at Donald Trump's use of Twitter as Vladimir Putin's deputy prime minister declared international relations should not depend on the U.S. president's mood when he wakes up in the morning. Arkady Dvorkovich appeared to reference Mr. Trump's tweets as he told Russian state media, international relations should not depend on the mood of one person when he wakes up in the morning. Russia is not prepared for such risks. Mr. Dvorkovich comments come as Russian leaders and Donald Trump have been engaged in a war of words over the situation in Syria. The U.S. president in a series of tweets on Wednesday said, Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready Russia, because they will be coming, nice and new and smart. You shouldn't be partners with a gas-killing animal who kills his people and enjoys it. Our relationship with Russia is worse now than it has ever been and that includes the Cold War. There is no reason for this. Russia needs us to help with their economy, something that would be very easy to do, and we need all nations to work together. Stop the arms race. In a tweet yesterday Mr. Trump added, never said when an attack on Syria would take place. Could be very soon or not so soon at all. In any event, the United States, under my administration, has done a great job of ridding the region of ISIS. Where is our thank you America? French President Emmanuel Macron declared that France has proof that Syria used chemical weapons against its own people in Doma on April 7. Mr. Macron said he would decide whether to strike Syrian government targets in retaliation once all the necessary information had been gathered. He added, we will need to take decisions in due course, when we judge it most useful and effective. An ally of Assad's Syrian government Russia has deployed military police in Doma after the town was sieged by Bashar al-Assad's forces on Wednesday. Putin's defense ministry told the state-run RIA news agency, they are the guarantors of law and order in the town. Theresa May held an urgent cabinet meeting yesterday afternoon to discuss Britain's response to what she has cast as a barbaric attack that cannot go unchallenged. The prime minister, who has spoken with Mr. Trump about Syria, won the backing of her ministers to deploy British forces against Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad's regime. The emergency meeting of her war cabinet endorsed the Prime Minister's insistence that the tyrant's use of chemical weapons cannot go unchallenged. As ministers discussed the crisis yesterday, US officials claimed to have evidence that chlorine gas and a nerve agent were used in a Syrian government attack on the town of Doma in eastern Gouda at the weekend that left around 70 dead. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.